about gun on or around February 2nd. Fertility of the soil has been one of the primary aims of religious ritual since discovery of agriculture in far prehistory. A dependency on the weather and the richness of the soil has preoccupied human life from those primordial days down to the present, establishing a continuity which has become synonymous with rootedness and stability. This full participation of man in nature has been celebrated by many thinkers and writers, and certainly the Norwegian author Newt Hampson was in touch with this idea, and he would have instinctively understood the ritual we call charming of the plow. In ancient times, the fertility rite was done at the beginning of the plowing season, wrapped in Christian externals. It has survived down to the present. But the spirit and origin are very ancient and thoroughly heathen. Parts of the ceremony are given here have been adapted from a very old Anglo-Saxon charm called the Aesir blood, or remedy for the cultivated land. This, <coughs> this in turn is a Christianized version of earlier material, and we have simply reworded it so that it is in harmony with its original nature. The day before charming of the plow, a special ceremonial loaf of bread is baked. It is made of meal from as many different grains as possible and is kneaded with milk and water. This should be about the size of a person's hand and have a sun wheel carved in its surface. I stand at the east, ready to receive bounties. I pray the glorious Lord, the great ruler, the holy guardian of the heavens. I pray to the earth and to the sky above, and to all the gods and goddesses of our people, to the might of the life givers. I pray that I might thus rouse up crops for the use in the world. Fill this earth in firm faith, make beautiful these grassy plains. Sky Father, cover your consort, that life may be. Eresi, 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 Mother of the Earth, may the all-wielder Lord Eternal give flourishing acres of sprouting roots, acres bountiful bringing to the harvest tall stalks and shining growth, acres of broad harvest of barley, acres of white harvest of wheat, and all the harvests of earth. May Mother Earth and Father Sky depend, defend this growth from every foe, that it may be shielded from every evil and every sorcery sowed through the land. Now I pray the all-wielder who shaped the world that there be no woman so wagging of tongue, nor any man so cunning of craft that there ever pervert these words thus spoken. O earth, O mother of men, be hale and growing by grace of Lord and Lady, be filled with food for use of people. Acre grow, full with food for men, brightly 
blowing, thou be blessed. In the name of the Holy Sky Father above, and Earth Mother wherein we live, may the Holy Ones grant sprouting gifts that each kind of grain grow for men. To thee a libation and a memory of your fruits in the time past. Hail to thee. sacrifice is done. May it strengthen us in devotion to the gods of our ancestors and renew in our hearts our determination to live as worthy friends of prey. May we struggle with all the greater resolution to live free with courage, with trust in our strength, and honoring the bonds of kinship until we be gathered to the gods. Pray, we thank you for your presence as you wend off to Asgard carry with you the sentiments and thoughts of us in Midgard. Praise to you, pray. Farewell. Sacrifice is done.